G'day photographers, how you going? It's Ben from TAFE and we are in part three of our image sorting video looking at like a huge body of images. I've got two, nearly 2,000 photos here I'm editing through. The last video we looked at ranking images, so giving one star to a photo that looks okay, giving two stars to a photo that looks pretty good and then using the three, four and five stars to differentiate the really, really sweet photos there. So let's have a look at where I've got so far. Here's all my images. What do we got? 1,992. <sighs> That's a lot. Let's have a look at how I whittled them down. So first up, the one star pass. That got me down to 466 images. So there's still heaps in here, okay? but. This is about me choosing which I like, which I don't like. Um, I'm not spending a whole lot of time stressing about this. You'll see a lot of sort of weird, incomplete photos in them, like this sequence here. There, that's actually, uh, that's actually, I think, two potential panoramas, which I'll stitch together later. They've all gotten one star. This, this set of images here is, let me zoom in a bit. So there's that one panorama there. Here's another panorama where I was sort of aiming for a nice kind of vista over the camping ground uh, with, where the family's sitting down there below. Here's a lot of family shots. This series here of the fishermen at dusk, I think there'll be a cool photo in that. I don't know yet because I haven't started playing with it which one I've got, but so basically I knew there's something good living there, so I'm going to give them all a star to keep them. Yeah, and what else can I show you? Just a bunch of landscapes. And, and this is where we talked yesterday about, uh, in the last video, about the difference between shooting for the family and then shooting for you. I mean, and you can apply that to any sort of industry. You can apply it to a wedding. You're a wedding photographer, you've got your shots that you get hired for, the ones you put in your portfolio and they're the ones that are really, really important to you. They're the three, four, and five star images. However, you've also got a client, and the shots that are just plain portraits, the shots of the bride hugging the mother-in-law, they mightn't be the shots that set Instagram on fire, but they're still really important, and you've got to get them. And that applies to this family trip too. Shots of my wife, shots of nieces and nephews and grandma and all that kind of stuff. You, you gotta get it. Will they get the same amount of attention in Photoshop from me? Probably not. They'll get a quick little clean up and crop and there you go, family, enjoy. All right, so let's jump into that. That's my one star pass, two star pass. And there's not, I've roughly halved the images. So still heaps of photos here, like still 238 photos. Getting a bit more selective. I haven't done a lot of culling. Um, I've killed most of the panoramas out. I've already done the stitching on them. So a lot of the shots have dropped there. I've still got the fisherman riding here at full strength because I haven't really gotten into a slow, deep edit with him. There's these farming shots here, uh, a guy moving his cattle, which I thought was pretty cool. I've had a little bit of a play in there, but nothing serious. Uh, and here's my panoramas here. So the, all those panorama shots have been done. At this two star level, this is where the family shots are gonna sort of hover. So I'm gonna pick a lot of these, these sorts of ones, um, which is, you know, brother-in-law and father-in-law, they're just gonna get a quick crop and color correct, quick, cleaned up, bang, off to the family. Let's have a look at the three stars. And this is, yeah, just because of how I roll, I don't usually go much further than three stars. Three stars for me is usually enough of a differentiation. But So these three star photos, they're really, these are the ones just for me. The fisherman's still in here. I'm gonna have a good play with those images when I get some time. The drover and his cattle, the farmer and his cattle is still in there. Panoramas are still in there. These are the ones I'm gonna spend a lot of time on. And obviously this number's gonna come down. I'm probably not gonna put every single one of these on Instagram. I might put one, maybe two on. So 
this number here, once I have a play and work out which sort of compositions and things like that I really like, it'll, it'll come down quite considerably. But for now, I just wanted to get everything across there. There'll be some sort of cool kind of landscape shots in, maybe not that one, maybe that one. Yeah, so this is the final 84 images that are just for me that I'm going to play with. In, and that's in the three-star category. In the two-star category, there's going to be a lot of images that are just important to the family, and I'm going to punch them out really quick. So that's sort of how I'm breaking it down. As far as where this series of videos goes from now, I mean, that that's kind of it. It's now about editing the photos. So I'm, I'm not sure if you guys want to see that. If you do, it'd be nice if you could either, you know, send me a comment down below or on Facebook and just let me know if you want to see me tackle a sequ like tackle this fisherman sequence, see how I want to manipulate those photos. I could run through my process for making this panorama if that excites you. Thank you for your time. Thank you for watching. I hope it's been beneficial. I've had some nice comments back saying, hey, this has been really helpful. So that, that's really cool. Editing a lot of photos is a bit tiring. It's definitely time consuming, but if you go in and you can break it up, the, you can rank things. You can quickly go from 2000 photos to 84 photos, making easy decisions at first. Like, is this in focus or is it not? If it is in focus, give it a star. And then amping up those decisions 